19 cases dropping, some large-scale events are still opting for virtual attendance. In this morning's Dose of Reality, Jack Lamson shows us how one recovery organization is getting ready to hold a second all-virtual statewide conference. It's not the statewide recovery conference they were hoping for. Absolutely, this is not what we hoped for. We were well into the thralls of planning a hybrid event. But after going all virtual last year and making the decision to do so again this weekend, it's one Dr. Angelia Smith-Wilson and Friends of Recovery were ready for. We learned a lot. We learned a lot from that. So going all virtual was not too painstaking, but we did improve upon the tech. The sixth annual recovery conference running Sunday to Tuesday will allow clinical staff, peer advocates, family members, and more to come together and talk about substance use and treatment. FOR's Director of Recovery, Education, and Training, Teresa Knorr, says there will be some interactive moments to keep people engaged. You know, the feel of being together in person is a little different than when you're online, and so we're also trying to improve upon this. With the keynote address, there will also be a focus on recovery professionals owning their recovery and avoiding compassion fatigue. So in terms of, you know, owning our recovery, uh, making sure that we are well, that so that as providers, whether you're a clinician, whether you're a peer professional, or whether you're a family member in recovery or a person in recovery yourself, making sure that you are taking care of yourself and not burning out. In 2019, the last time the event was held in person, there were a little more than 500 people. Last year, that dropped to just over 200. This year, they're back up to around 400 registered already. For CBS 6 News, I'm Jack Lamson.